Well, tax season is here. This year, some people may need a little extra help. Well, that's where Community Action Partnership of Orange County, also known as CAPOC, comes in. It's a nonprofit that's been helping people in need for more than 50 years. They're now offering income qualified residents tax prep assistance by empowering them with support and all the tools they need. Joining us now is the president and CEO of CAPOC, Gregory C. Scott. We were just talking in the commercial bank about this time change, and he's feeling it today, too. You're going to be all right? <laughs> No, let's just say the line at Starbucks is going to be large today. So, talk about Cap OC and the work that you've been doing in Orange County. What for more than 50 years? It's really remarkable. Yes, you know, actually, we, we've been around for more than 50 years. Born out of the war on poverty, uh, we part of a national network of what we call community action agencies across the country. And during that time period, the, a lot of advocacy was around poverty and racial justice. And the response um, from the administration during that time was Community Action Partnership. Mm -hmm. So we've been in Orange County for over 55 years. Um, we do two things, majorly. One, we, we help people who are, who are in immediate crisis through mm -hmm. food bank, mm -hmm. through food insecurity. Um, so we help um, around that food insecurity. We also help utility assistance, rental assistance, and really crisis intervention. And then we have more long-term programs where we are really helping um, families come out of poverty within, within two generations. And we have a whole family approach to really do that after school program, financial empowerment, teaching people how to save, workforce development. The list goes on in terms of the number of programs that we also have. We also have a diaper bank as well to help families who are really struggling in that area too. And we're going to talk about the tax uh, uh, part in a second, but to that end, you know, you have all of this plan of getting people out of poverty and then a pandemic comes along. I mean, I imagine that took a little bit of wind from your sales. A absolutely. I, you know, I tell people all the time that um, poverty is tough enough without a pandemic. Yeah. Um, and then when you add a pandemic onto it, unemployment, um, you, you know, we, we have a public health issue that was global. When you add all those things to it, people getting sick, so healthcare, you know, is involved in that. Kids not going to school like they were before. They got to relearn how sure. to learn sure. um, all over again. And then when they add all of that to people dealing with poverty, then we have a double pandemic. Right. A pandemic dealing with the public health issue, then with a pandemic where 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 poverty um, is deepened, um, and then we have some people who were not dealing with poverty before, but because of unemployment and the pandemic, are now in our lines um, asking for food. So it was it was um, an amazing um, time period to really um, pivot for our organization, but we've been able to do that. Well, and that's what I like about what you have done is that you realize all the areas where people are going to need support and resources and tools, tax season is a prime example of that. How are you helping folks that qualify uh, because of their income with tax preparation? Well, awesome question. So, you know, for the last few years, we, we've actually um, been, you know, as you said, helping families who, um, who, 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 who are income qualified um, to really do their taxes. One, it's free for them. So whatever refund they were getting, they don't, they're not, they don't, they, we're not cutting into that refund. So it's free for them. Um, and we, and, and, and in reality, we take it a little bit deeper as well because we are also helping them um, once they do get their refund, don't just go spend it. Um, we really teach them also how to save money sure. and begin to develop, develop that emergency savings. So we walk them through a process in terms of what they need. Um, all the paperwork has to be in place. We have we have qualified AmeriCorps members that we've been working with for years, who um, who've been qualified through the IRS to um, deal with the, deal, deal with their their taxes. And so it's been an amazing program. I think we helped families last year. Um, over 1.8 million dollars went back wow. to families in Orange County. Wow! And so that's a, that's a major game changer for a lot of families. How do they apply? Obviously, you need to be an OC resident uh, in order to qualify. Absolutely. So if you go to our website, um, capoc.org, um, you can go there and we can set your appointment and we can and we'll get it right back to you because we have long we have lines um, every day coming in and out of our buildings um, of people who are who are in need. So you know one way to do that is to go through our website. It's probably the quickest way and the best way Excellent. to do that. Yeah, I guess capoc, c a p o c dot org. And what we'll do is we'll link to it on our website. But before we let you go, because I know you're a busy fella, let's just brag on you a little bit. You're the first African American CEO in Cap OC's history, my man. Hey. Well, yeah, I, I'm, and I'm, it's something I'm very, very, very proud of um, and very excited about. But the mission it really hits on everything I care about um, and all the values that it has in terms of really helping people, giving back to the community. Yeah. Um, so everything I care about. 
uh, Capital C does, and so that's why I'm excited. I get up every morning excited, even though I don't know what day it is because <laughs> of, of the time he, difference. But he was talking I earlier about up. the fact that he was traveling, you know, to different time yeah. zones, and then of course he comes back to the West Coast right when the time changed. And by the way, we've been yeah. in a two-year pandemic. Do you even know what year it is? So like well, Gregory and I exactly. were bonding on the fact that whatever, <laughs> here we are. We're here today we and we're talking, and we think it's daytime. Yes. We're not totally sure. Listen, Capo C is doing great things as you are, and I'm so glad it aligns with who you are. It's the gas in your tank to help folks. Again, we'll link to it on our website, foxla.com slash links. Greg, you're really a delight to meet you. Thank you so much for the hard work your organization is putting in to help others. Thank you, Michaela. I really appreciate your time today. Oh, absolutely. All right, 848. Let's tell Gregory about his day weather-wise. What can yes. he expect? Well, okay, so he's a little tired, but he'll be fine once that sun hits him. He'll enjoy